Libras, it's about 8.05 in the morning. I used to start at like 8.04 for your readings if I did morning ones. Good morning to you. I hope you find your day beautiful and your commute or wherever you're headed to this morning safely and securely. We're going to get started with new love today and it's a, it's a bright video to describe somebody who will be coming in with intentions. So we will look at intentions very heavily. We will describe the cards in their classic sense. On the pre-shuffle, I saw the Hierophant and the Hermit again. So that might be signs like a Virgo or a Taurus coming in for you or heavy earth qualities. Somebody who is a bit grounded, very intelligent, you know, earth signs display that, very book smart. Let's begin for new love today in the current. Could we get in the current energy for Libras, um, how does this person feel coming in? Let's do that first. Their immediate emotions. Immediate emotions. Alrighty, let's get started, my Librianos. Let's begin. Ace of Cups. First card out. Let's get four. There's two. Immediate emotions from Libra's incoming person. I also feel like you could run into this person. I'm getting a very specific channel. This could be the grocery or a convenience store. This one's flipping. The Eight of Wands from Stellas, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly a new water sign. This was the first card out. And typically when a card comes out and it's first and it comes rushing in, it's the most important one, right, of the whole reading. This is definitely a new love energy with watery emotions. You might have um you might have someone who quickly describes how they feel quite fast in the beginning. They might get a rush of emotion toward you. Okay? And it's going to be powerful with the ace of cups. Let me turn off the sound here. Let me just turn it off cuz there's a bunch of ads whenever I play like meditative music in the beginning of the morning and I do apologize. Queen of Pentacles, okay, so definitely an earth quality of someone who's returning nurturing energy. I feel like they might actually have a crush at first, Libra's in new love, and then they might tell you all of these emotions very, very quickly to start. It might even bombard you here, okay, in the beginning. We have another flipper here, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, okay, that was right next to the Queen of Pentacles. We ended... The eerie thing is we ended with her last night. So in New Love, we start with her today, which I don't know. I find that a little strange dichotomy because it's from a different deck. And we begin with her today. That could be a sign. Okay, that could be a sign or a synchronicity you've been thinking about. Can I see um, Can I see the Hierophant's intentions? What are they going to first display going into a relationship? You won't even believe the lovers. Major Arcana. It's very, very caring energy super loving to begin with. Now, this person can come off very sensitive or they grow to love you very quickly. Like I, I get definitely get that. And I'll show you why Libras, because as we do a morning reading, we're picking up a specific energy for new love. And the speed of the eight of wands is fast going into a major arcana like the lovers. So if you could see there, it's very quick emotions. Can I see why? Why is that going to come off quick in the beginning? The Two of Pentacles. This can be that they're juggling a lot of parts in life, okay? And I don't sense deceit or anything ill here. They're just, they want to make you a part of their life very quickly because they're afraid you could, you know, be taken and things could get busy between you two and they just want to solidify maybe a spot here. That's how the Two of Pentacles comes in this morning. Can I get a clear and concise message about that? The Chariot. I told you it's about speed. It's about, you know, maybe fearing that they'll lose you. The chariot comes in with a lot of momentum and it's also an instrument of war. And I'm not saying they're going to come at you that way, but it's definitely going to come in fresh with that chariot. It could be a new cancer for some of you. Okay. If you dated a cancer in the past, I feel like this one's going to be a little more feeling toward you. It's almost like you meet another cancer that's coming in too for some of you. Very, very small group. We also have four of wands, a new Aries Leo Sagittarius with this commitment energy. As you see the 1111 sign poster there, you could have manifested this person through prayer. Or even if you're like a new meditator who, who meditates a lot now, I feel like you manifested this person through words. Okay, there's something spiritual about that. Like the lovers to the four of wands picks that up. Okay, that's how I saw it in my visions too. 
So they do want a commitment. They're going to come in really fast, Libras. This is the fast card and the Ace of Cups is new love. We have a lot of new love energy here and all the love cards that you'd like to see if you're starting off with somebody fresh. Can I see uh, what are some of the challenges here that they're going to see? The moon? Maybe in the beginning, they're going to hide things uh, to start. This is Cancer and Pisces energy, the moon. They might not detail what their struggles are in the past. Uh, they could feel like they don't come from a loving relationship in the past. Very wounded is what I'm getting. That's the channel is wounded. So this is going to be slow to come by. And I think Libras, because they're going to notice right away in the beginning that you're understanding, they are going to want to chit chat about this slowly. Okay. Can I see the moon energy in description? Yeah, Knight of Cups coming in sideways and the Queen of Swords. They will be direct as long as you open them up. I think they're going to wait until your curiosity comes in. That might sound cliche, like they're going to wait until you kind of ask the questions, but they're going to be very forthcoming. Knight of Cups is also here. Water energy. They're coming in as a lot of uh, fire, water, and earth this morning for you. Queen of Pentacles can also be them as well, since energies are interchangeable. What is the new love if Libra has them already? What are they feeling currently? Thank you. We have Temperance. Okay, so they want to balance the situation with you, be the yin to your yang, and investment. Seven of Pentacles. You could have met them online because the web behind this lady and... This is a fun way of looking at Stella's interpretation of tarot. You see here that it's interconnected via the web, okay? And in our culture nowadays and in our society, the web is the internet. So there could have been a social media connection here. The dragonfly could be a connection from a friend, or this could have been a connection from a family member. Some of you met them through somebody else, and that's what you're going to be finding is common friends, um, Maybe some of you associate with the same group for this new love too. I'm going to move decks. The bottom of the deck was the Nine of Wands. They could be very wounded um, from a past relationship too. There's an, another one here that I didn't check out. The Queen of Cups. Here's another Cancer coming in or some water energy. Could be dating a Pisces or Scorpio too. They are very sentimental. They're going to find that, you know... Uh, they're going to find parts of you, Libra, that are rather intriguing. They're going to ask you about things. I feel like you're, if you're a creative and you write or you express yourself, this person is going to want like copies of your poetry or copies of your work, okay, just to have in their energy. And I'm picking that up too. They're going to want a slice of you in their life, which is, it's, it's really cute here. And I feel the endearing nature from the Queen of Cups to the Moon. They also could be intuitive too. They could be a very intuitive person with the moon to the queen of cups. I think they'll appreciate too that you're spiritual, that you're very in touch with esoteric things, and maybe you've learned and can share things with them too. I see that in the reading. We're going to do Lenormand for this one. This is very intriguing with investment. And they're going to want long term too, as you've met them on the internet as well. I feel like um, some of you have a physical connection with friends that's going to connect uh all of you together, which is that seven of pentacles in the web. You know, the imagery sometimes tells the story. Let's see here for new love. These are flip overs. We have the hanged man, the page of wands, and the knight of wands. I feel like this is going to come in fast for a lot of you. The page of wands is younger. That could be a more youthful male for some of my females here. And for some of the men on the channel, I feel like they'll be just a tad bit younger than you with the page of wands. They're going to have a lot of information to share with that card too. If you combine the chariot and the page of wands, it's someone who's ready for a relationship as well, coming in with a lot of speed. Okay. Uh, what are, what do they want to tell Libra like right off the bat? What do they want to tell Libras uh, right as they meet them? Let's do that. If you haven't met them yet, that they're going to supply you honesty with the justice card. This is huge because it's your very own major arcana. It's your very own major arcana. I'm sorry, my voice kind of sounded different there. Um, they're going to want to be honest and forthright, very, very clear with you. The justice card can bring good karma into somebody's life too, okay? Or balance out the karma. And I feel like they might even be a Libra. You might come across your own sign as well. Um, I'm picking up on a couple of things here because you have the Queen of Swords and Justice and you could very well be meeting your own sign as well, Libras, okay? I also have a Cancer Gemini here too. 
if you've never met a Gemini with the lover's card, okay? And that's also air. So air and air usually goes very good together because there's communication between both people. They're very good at it, all right? Let's see the chariot. What's that energy too, if we could get specific? We have the Knight of Wands again from this one and death, okay? So death doesn't mean that something typically ends Libras. Usually it can be a rebirth too of something. I feel like somebody wants to be very honest about a start with you, okay? They're going to be very clear about their relationship in the beginning. They do want this to be long-term and they do want it to last because I see the Four of Wands to the Death card and that can mean rebirth also. So I take this as rebirth energy in your new love video. It comes in a little bit different for me today because all of the majors are lining up here with honesty, justice, the chariot. I feel like they want to make this last, okay? That's that's a profuse message because justice and the chariot are very, very hard to draw out in the same draw. So two major arcanas for new love. Uh, can I see also the queen of cups? What's that intuitive card? The six of cups It's going to be a new soul contract. So we have this here too. I feel like you'll be excited about this contract when you meet this person it will be something vibrant and different from what you're used to. This person might even look different also from what you're typically used to. Knight of Swords. Haven't seen this guy return in a while, especially a new love. You know, when we've done past, present, and future, this is a card that will come out. But a new love, this is information that comes in. I feel like you'll be surprised that this person wants a relationship, okay? It might even startle you at first. The Six of Cups can be a brand new soul tie. Um, and I don't like to use all the time like runner, uh, chaser type of thing, but I do think that this will be a contract that you uphold and that you'll actually hear what this person wants to invest in long term. They seem really caring with the Queen of Cups, and I do want to clarify that for you. This can be a divine love too and something very in sync. Can I clarify the Gemini um, lover's energy here for Libra? Can I clarify that? The King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles are the clarifiers. So I'm going to describe it. When you have a main card that you're clarifying, so this is Gemini. This is working on it, putting the effort with the Pentacles. As you see, he's kind of working on his artistry and craftsmanship. So they're definitely going to be into you. And I feel like they're going to want to do things that you love to do from the Lovers to the Eight of Pentacles. Let me fix it here so you can see that energy. They're going to want to spend time with you and cultivate your crafts with you. Also, like if you're into something very specific, if you're into financial things or you learn tools of the trade um, of your lifestyle, Libra, like for instance, some people are really into Bitcoin and things like that. They're going to want to learn what you're into. So they're going to study Bitcoin too, as an example. That's just a, you know, a little tiny example here. Okay. And then, and you could relate that to anything, whether it's arts or music or books or going to the library. Now we have a King of Wands here. And this is why I like to do the new love days very specific for a lot of you because this person is attractive and they have something to offer too. Okay, so let's check that out. What are they um what are they gonna be offering here coming up? 2023 to 2024. Can I see that please? What is the offering of the King of Wands? Hierophant. The Hierophants right here. They could be a Taurus, they could be a Leo with the sun. Okay. I'm also picking up on a Leo rising. Yeah, they're going to want to offer you an Ace of Wands here. This comes in creatively, passionately. It's hot and heavy with the Ace of Wands and new love. Um, again, it's like another rush in your life. You might be intimidated. I'm picking up on some of you might be intimidated about this commitment energy. But remember, it's something you've long awaited for. So it's not to be shied away from too. And I feel like you'll be with this person for quite some time, create some memories. There's also travel here with the Chariot and the Eight of Wands as fast cards and creating momentum, okay? Last bit here, we're going to put in um, a little time with Lenormand. So let's do that. The Lenormand is going to give us a cue, and I will describe to you um, a bit of timing. Let's do timing for Libra. Let's see what that is about. Lenormand for the new love, we're going to get two. Thank you. We have the snake. Okay, so we're going to read this adjective. The snake comes out as a signal, okay? And then we have bouquet. So there are two very, very different cards. 
very different. Snake is number seven. So let's check that out. That would be the insignia. It says treachery and a betrayal with this snake card. Okay. It says it's a sign of misfortune that brings infidelity and sorrow. This might have come after you experienced a period like this. Does that make sense? It says they wear many disguises and sometimes it's the one that best delivers the most poisonous venom. I feel like after a very sad event that you went through where betrayal and loss and sorrow, because that's what the card's meaning is, I feel like that's when you get this beautiful Hierophant energy because it landed right on top of him, okay? So there's an energy here of after you experience such treachery, that's when this arrives, but you have to be willing to. You have to be willing to accept this. The bouquet card is its partner. So let's read that. Happiness, wish fulfillment, attainment. When the bouquet falls close to the siren's wishes, they will be granted and a hope and happiness will reign over this period. The bouquet promises moments of intense beauty and brilliance that will leave the siren feeling the sweet dreams that come true. Now, last night, somebody didn't want me reading from the book. I completely understand that, but I like to read it from Lenormand because there's a different version of Lenormand that came out. And we use the siren song to kind of equivocate that. Um, and that is the message of bouquet. This was your new love video today. I hope you enjoyed. And I do hope that this person, you get the impact or maybe even the same resonance of meeting them pretty soon here at Libras. I want to drop this first video for you. I will return later with clarifying this read. We're going to go into very specific things. Um, I think I'll drop it around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, some of you have personals today too, so I am getting back to a big, big group of you. Um, just be patient with me today. It's a very, very heavy day. There also will be no readings tomorrow. I just want to let you guys know. And thank you. Namaste. Have a beautiful work week. Thank you guys.